Hi guys, it's me, Tamina, and this is my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad to have you here. And if you'd like to join the Tea Farm, please click the subscribe button. If you're already a member of the Tea Farm, thank you. I'm so glad to have you back. And for today, I'm outside here shining. I'm out here shining with my afro because I'm about to show you guys how to protective style by yourself, like how to do a protective style by yourselves. It's really easy. I'm going to give you easy steps and now I need to show you um, what you need for this process so that it can be easy and doesn't doesn't take much time and it looks really nice in the end. Okay, I'm hoping. I did it last week and it looked okay, but I want to make it look so much better this week. So yeah, this is actually due to the photos I posted on Instagram and you guys were like, can you please show us how to do some of these protective styles? And you know, I got you. I always got you and so I decided to make a video about this so yeah let's go and see what we need to achieve this hairstyle hoping it turns out good so you're going to need some hair bands an afro comb a brush to prep the hair that you're going to use a brush to prep your own hair a pintail comb to get like really clean neat parts for the hair that we're going to use, for me, I use the Vogue's Truly Yours Hair. It's the Brilliant Expression Braid. It's tangle-free. From last year, it can be put in hot water to tangle, to like curl, and it's really nice. For the oil, we're going to be using any oil that you have. <laughs> Don't trust me. I used the oil that I used to use when I was a child. And a sort of age tamer or gel to make it really neat. Um, The hair is super, super long. I don't even know how many inches these are. It's really long and this it's divided into like two parts. The hair is 350. So for parting, we're going to part. Okay, if you want a middle part, then you have to make sure like it's completely like precise. So what I do is that I take it from my nose coming up and I part it just like that. <laughs> it was it was really hard to do this on camera. I really needed to do this next to a mirror but then um, I just did it on camera and I think it came out okay because uh, the parting was not as horrible for the middle part because I've said like this the whole week and I've gotten nothing but compliments I don't know what I'm doing here let's just go straight to the next part so here I'm showing you how to get your parts I was dividing my hair into sort of like a part like that and then two more after that going backwards uh, you make sure you really get like clean parts make sure you get all the hair out so that it stays neat so it can last longer here I'm just trying to get my parts really clean and to remove any hair and make sure it goes like in a straight not straight line but like a curved line but straight so that there's no hair in it here we're just going to prep our hair first I'm going to cut it into half because you saw it was really long and I didn't want like super long braids just wanted like um kind of short but like medium length braids so i just cut it into half once you've cut it into half you have to prep your hair so to prep my hair for me i got some petroleum jelly now you can use any petroleum jelly for me i used one called baby care it's just to get your hair really soft really shiny and to get rid of all the kinks in the hair um generously generously apply this oil <laughs> on the braid that you're going to use once you're done applying, you're going to get the brush I was telling you from the beginning and you're going to try and just get the kinks out of this hair so that it's really like easy when you're plating, hair, plating your hair. So yeah, we're just going to get the kinks out. As you can see, this hair had like a lot of kinks, either that or I don't know how to brush hair. And so it took some time to like prep it. So make sure you get all the kinks out, girls. Okay. Um, gonna take some time. This is gonna take like 20 minutes because we're doing it for all the hair we're going to use so that the hair is just ready. So uh, we're gonna get your hair split into parts depending on the size of braids you want. I wanted medium size, not too jumbo, not too small. So uh, I just part it into s such a size. And when you part it, you want to arrange your hair on like a chair or something so that when you need it, you got it. <laughs> okay. So here I'm just getting my hair into parts and this is the kind of size I was using for each of my braids. And so we're just going to start with the hair. 
Um, this is a close up. Okay, so you're just gonna get that HTML that I showed you onto the hair to make it like really soft and easy to manipulate. And this also makes it really neat when you finally get it into like some sort of braid. Uh, I used the uh, olive oil. I already showed you the HTML I used. Yeah, just apply a generous amount and you're going to go through it with a comb to get also all the kinks out of your hair so that it's really easy easy to plait it as you go along. My hair had really like a lot of kinks, but I had detangled it so I don't know why. Once you have your hair like this, we're just going to start with the cornrows, split your hair into like three strands. I really hope you can see what I'm doing here. And after you get your hair into three strands, you're just going to do a sort of like cornrow. But a really tiny cornrow because I wanted like some variation in the styling of my hair. Like when I leave it out, I wanted to have two parts to like leave out to just hang when I do like a bun. I was really concentrated on trying to show you guys what I was doing, but I got I was putting it over my ear. Then yeah, that's just how it looks when I get it out. Um now I'm just gonna show you how I okay, I wanted to show you guys how to attach a braid. But I'm just going to show you guys how to finish because uh, when I was recording this, the camera just was not cooperating with me because I took the braid. You can see me taking the braid and I wanted to attach it to the hair. But then uh, when I was attaching it, the camera did not film that part. So I thought I would also do a separate part for that. But I can just show you how to finish. You can just see here my braid is already attached. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So here my braid is already attached as you can see on the side there i've parted my hair into two and i just have already pleated sort of a cornrow and you're just gonna attach your braid like that and finish it off like that don't worry guys i need to show you how to actually attach the braid i did a separate like segment not segment but like i shot this separately for now you can just see how to like finish your parts and how my part kind of like turned out you just need to do okay now can't you call this tattoo tattoo but you guys call it like what box braids you get three strands of hair and you crisscross them i'm just going to show you in this segment so here is your strand of hair guys you can see it you can all see it that's how you should get your, your strand of hair like your actual hair get your braid into a loop like that get the loop around your strand of hair just like so yeah, and then start pleating the tattoo tattoo, the three strands of hair and criss cross them until you start getting a pattern like that. I hope you guys can really see what I'm doing. You can really slow this down for yourself just to get what I'm doing. I was really trying to focus it, but it didn't focus. So yeah, just like that. Take your strands. I'm really going to show you this slower <clears throat> so you can get the gist of what's going on. So take one strand, okay, cross it with another strand, and then cross the other strand again. And this is just the genuine, like the general sequence that you're going to use, just like that, just like that. And it's going to give you that exact pattern, guys. Like, kid you not, it's really easy. Just take the three strands and crisscross them till you get a pattern like that. You can also use this if you want to, like, elongate your braids. To be longer than they are you can attach another braid but you can also just do this to your hair now uh this is me okay just uh, wondering why i decided to pleat my hair because um i was taking so many breaks but you guys if you don't take like phone breaks and stuff it's gonna get done faster and this is the finished look for watching that's the finished look if you want to see more videos on hair and like anything else you'd like to see please comment down below don't forget to like and comment and thank you so much for stopping by especially if you're new if you're already a member of the t farm you're the real one the real one okay thank you guys for watching bye